I've done is just rewritten part A out, uh, okay, again. And in part B, what we've got to do is find the cube root then of 7.7. .7. Now, to do this, this is obviously about cube rooting when we see the power third, and so somehow 8 minus 3x must be 7.7. .7. So it said choose an appropriate value of x. So before I start, what I'm going to do is write that 8 minus 3x must be equal to the 7.7. .7. So what we need to do is just solve this to find out what that appropriate value of x is going to be. And so if I was to subtract 7.7 .7 from both sides and add 3x to both sides, I'd get 8 take away 7.7, .7, which is 0.3, equals 3x. And clearly, if I divide both sides by 3, I get that x equals 0 0.1. So that's the appropriate value for x that I need now to substitute into here so that I get the cube root of 7.7. .7. So by saying when x equals 0 0.1, this value here becomes the cube root of 7.7. .7. So we'll write that as the cube root of 7.7. .7. And it's going to be equal to 2 minus a quarter times the x value, which is now 0 0.1. Put that in there. Minus 1 32nd, minus 1 over 32, multiplied by 0 0.1 squared. And the last term here, minus 5 over 768, multiplied by x cubed, and x is 0 0.1, so that's 0 0.1 cubed. So, if you get on the calculator, work this out, what you get is 1.974680099. And we're asked to give this to seven decimal places. So that's going to be 1.974680. Don't forget to put the seven decimal places on the end. And that brings us now to the end of part B and the end of this question.